Yesterday's Battletech narrative had us asking the question, how Steiner, what kind of mechs would we encounter? If you were building out your Lance, if you were building out your Battletech collection, and we wanted to really try to capture that narrative, what mechs would we begin to populate our Lance and our collection with? And I offered my perspective from the narrative, and in the comments already, it's only been a day, amazing feedback, a lot of really great ideas, a lot of iconic machines, I felt like we had to balance things out a little bit. How's Karita? Those mechs. Karita, I feel like in the inner sphere, before the arrival of the clans, they're kind of the go-to bad guy house. Just from the perspective of the interpretation of Bushido, kind of the machinations that they're involved with and various claims on, on Davian space and the feuds back and forth. Is that justified? I really guess it depends on who you ask. But in terms of mechs, in terms of machines, let's follow a similar exercise. Now, certainly house-only forces, not uh, forces that are bolstered by mercenary groups or, or secondary groups, there's going to be a variety of machines. I wouldn't outright say that, pick any type of mech. Uh, first mech that comes to mind, a Thunderbolt. There exists a couple of dozen or, or a couple of hundred Thunderbolts in the space of every single houses. But based on the narrative, mechs that they held at the fall of the Star League, production facilities uh, still in full swing, or even in the case of some newly designed or reacquired design mechs that are still pumping out on the supply lines and being assigned to new mech warriors, or perhaps even being for purchase on the open market. I feel like there are three machines that, well, three, four, one of them is a little bit later, four machines, three to four mechs that really define House Karita, that if you saw one of these in a Lance, you'd know, you'd get an idea. The first is the Jenner. I know they have a lot of production facilities, and I think that alone, if you're building on the narrative, well, Jenner's an evergreen mech. Tactica-wise, you can never go wrong in taking a Jenner. And the fact that Karita can field so many of them, I, I think, gives them a, an advantage. It's, it's certainly a weird-looking mech, but for the battle value, the speed, the weapons on it, I mean, it, it works. It packs a lot of punch. It packs as much punch as some media mechs. doesn't have the armor. Got to be careful not to be aggressive with a Jenner. But that, I think, more than anything else, is a very, very powerful light mech in House Karita controlled space. Second that they field a lot of, um, it's interesting, the light mechs versus the heavy mechs and assault mechs of Steiner would be the Panther. And this is another interesting light mech that works with a PPC, speed a little bit slow, not bad armor, but a PPC on a light mech, inner sphere tech, that's big. Um, and House Karita has a number of these. Moving up in the weight class, of course, we're going to have the Griffins and Wolverines and Shadowhawks. But then we get to the Dragon. Um, I feel like this is an iconic mech in Karita space for a variety of reasons. Not only the production facilities, but also they have a number of very uh, notable, notable mech warriors, both living and dead. Well, I, I guess it depends. They're all living depending on the timeline. It would not be out of place to see in a larger campaign a bunch of dragons scattered about a bunch of lances. Marauders. What do you guys think about marauders? I, I say that because, again, yes, they're going to have Warhammers and Banshees. I recall reading in some of the books and some of the narratives that they have higher, a higher number of marauders compared to the other houses in the inner sphere. And I, I can't remember if that's because of facilities or just they were lucky to capture a lot and have them in rotation. But I would put that down as an iconic mech. And then advancing the timeline, um, I believe it's the Hachi, the Hachimoto, the very um, PPC, short-range missiles, a very, very focused, very, very unique mech. I mean, essentially, it's a walking suit of samurai armor. And this was, a, I believe, a redesign. And you guys will correct me on this. I believe this was kind of a redesign, a counter to the Black Knight. I think it was built off that, and there might have been some production facilities. And that mech, more than anything, is iconic House Karita. It's not in use in many of the other houses. 
it's again the narrative is so big it's not to say you can't have one in a mercenary company but i wonder with certain mechs that are after the fall of the star league and are clearly clearly defined by a particular house would another house just based on honor field that mech your thoughts in the comments lights mediums heavies and assaults when you see that dragon banner coming at you um what mechs do you think defines really defines the signature narrative of house carita